Hey, howdy. You all of us have been paying attention over the last several weeks to the appointment of Judge Kavanaugh, right? And that would be the second conservative judge caller that the president has now put into the court system. And we're focused on that. I think what we really need to focus on, though, is, is that most judges are, in fact, liberal left wing judges that over the years have been installed by not necessarily liberal presidents and other people, but, but by conservatives also. And the president is trying to fix this and we're not paying attention. I wanted to share this with you that in addition to the two judges, President Trump has installed 84 conservative judges throughout the land. 84. That's a big deal. The man is a patriot. Nobody ever tells you about stuff like that. I know stuff. Hey, listen to me. <laughs> New rules in the United States, Mexico, Canada, trade agreement. It, it, there's a lot of unusual things in there for Canada. Canada, of course, thinks that they won, right? I, I mean, they didn't. It's kind of like the farmers, oh, we won, but don't worry. We're going to subsidize you now and pay you for all of the stuff that we gave away to another country. Duh. Now it's about milk, and, and there's more hidden things about skim milk. I just wanted to share a funny story with you about skim milk. My mother tells me this story from time to time, and I actually remember it when I was little. But in Canada, particularly in Alberta, Canada, up until I think it was the early 60s, believe it or not, you had to have a prescription from a pharmacy, from a doctor, to go to a pharmacy, get them to stamp it, to go to a dairy, before you could buy skim milk. It was illegal to buy skim milk unless you had that from a pharmacist. Sounds a little bizarre. I think that somebody needs a prescription there of sorts. Hey, um, John Krishan, Jane Krishan, whatever. He was the uh, Prime Minister of Canada, I believe, for three terms. He's a guy that said, elect me, and I promise that I'll get rid of the GST. He got elected and said, ha, ha, gotcha. And there's a whole list of other things that the guy did and didn't do. Just another communist idiot. In any event, just the other day, he's in his 80s, and now he says, Donald Trump, he mocked the Senate committee testimony of Christine Ford. And, uh, you know, he went on and on about how, where was she? She didn't know where she was and what day it was. And he said, come on, I would not be proud of my prime minister would have done something like that. On the contrary, I would have been, most Canadians would have been, it's kind of nice. I remember when men were men, hey, hey, would have been okay. He goes on to say, uh, Mr. Trump is fanatical and says Americans made a monumental error when they elected him. I don't think so. The thing about the judges I just said, all the judges in Canada, they're left wing call me wax because a guy like Christian appointed them. We're still feeling the pain of it. There ain't no justice in Canada. The U.S. economy is the strongest in the world. In the world. Canada, not so much. Their former prime minister, there's no signs either of it slowing down. I mean, wow. You can say you don't like him. You can say whatever you like. Facts are facts. Oh, oh don't let a fact get in your way if you're a left wing nut. I mean, it doesn't matter who you like. It's the lowest, the best, the lowest. Depends on your topic. African-Americans, Hispanics, never in history have they had so many jobs. Never in history has there been so little unemployment. I mean, wow. Everyone says immigration, the guy's a racist. He ain't a racist. He just wants a wall. He wants you to come in legally. Soon, he's going to want you to come in fast as well as being legal because he's creating so darn many jobs. There ain't nobody to work the jobs. Wow, wow, wow. In Canada, not so much. 22% unemployment if you factor in all of the welfare things and what the government now is referring to as guaranteed income. 22% of the people don't work. And they're still bringing people into the country. Hey, smarten up, wake up, come out of the ether, don't you think? How do you get work in Canada? Easy, all kinds of ideas. There's 12,000 gas stations in Canada. Government, don't pass a law. Don't legislate, educate. Get together with all the oil companies and say, hey guys, for three years, how about if you employ a couple of hundred thousand Canadians and, and no more self-serve gas stations? I wouldn't like that personally, but hey, why not? Look at all the people you're going to put to work. There's so many things that you can do, but you got to have a mind. Yeah, not many people have minds in Canada anymore that I know about, particularly the politicians. What happened? Taxes are so high, over 72% of what you pay go to some form of a tax. Stop it. Get rid of the Official Languages Act. Trillions of dollars have been spent. Get rid of it. Boom, taxes drop like a rock. GST, 5% of everything Canadians do. Get rid of it quickly. <gasps> How can that be? The marijuana tax, the new tax, will more than replace that. I mean, what are you going to do otherwise? More money is coming in now with the marijuana tax, but the citizenry hasn't benefited. Get rid of the GST. There's a long, long list of things to say and to do. We need a politician with, or you know, and he's got to, we need somebody to make it better. Get rid of things you don't need. 
when you can't afford to buy something that, and you have assets, you should get rid of the assets, get rid of the red tape, do something. Canada has so much of that, the 72% could easily be reduced down to 10 or 15. I ain't kidding. It really could get rid of all 320 ridings, billions and billions of dollars. Talk about being overrepresented. Get rid of 100 of them. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, y'all come back tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.